You don't have to, but it's good to see you. We have to find the right page again. Yeah. There it is. So this is the Spark Story Bible. It ends the Spark Story Bible. There's all kinds of, uh, we'll get to that. Um, There's all kinds of stories, and this is Squiggles the Caterpillar. Squiggles the Caterpillar is on every page. And so here, he looks like he's having a pretty good day walking along. Um, Here, he's like, oh, what's going on in there? And here, oh, he looks a little bit surprised. So we've got Squiggles with a look of uncertainty on his face. So we'll see what the story is all about. It's called The Disciples. Jesus told everyone he met, Repent! Stop the bad things you're doing and start doing good. One day, Jesus was at the seashore and a crowd gathered to listen to hear what he had to say. Jesus hopped onto a fishing boat so more people could see and hear him. Thanks for letting me use your boat, Jesus said. Then he said to the fishing brothers, Simon and Andrew, I think that's them there, I want to thank you with lots of fish. Throw out your nets. Well, we'll try, they sighed. Simon and Andrew put their nets into water, but we fished all night and caught absolutely nothing. They explained to Jesus. Now, suddenly, they felt their nets tug. They were overflowing with fish. Rip, pop, snap. The nets were so full that they were breaking. The brothers pulled in so many fish that their boat started to sink. That might be why Squiggle's eyes are so big. He's like, oh my gosh, we're going to get wet. Help, they called to their friends in another boat. We have too many fish. James and John rushed to the rescue. The weight of the fish almost took their boat under too. That's a lot of fish. You guys ever go fishing? Did you ever catch so many that it almost sank your boat? No. I've only been fishing in a boat a couple of times. I like standing on the shore. That's where I'm most comfortable. All right. They know that their new friend, they knew that their new friend Jesus must be someone special. He was the one who told them to catch this fish. Hey, Simon and Andrew. Hey, James and John. Follow me, Jesus called to them. Let's catch people instead of fish. Splash. The two sets of brothers dropped their nets into the sea. They were not fishermen anymore. Now they were disciples. Now they would follow Jesus. There they all are. Squiggles is already with Jesus. All right. Jesus met a tax collector at his office. Hey, Matthew, follow me, Jesus called. Let's collect people instead of money. Do you know what a tax collector is? That's somebody that goes around and, uh, well, they used to. Now they send it to them. But they, they'll, they'll, we pay taxes so that they can build roads and, and schools and things like that. Um, and so they collect the money and, and give it to the people who spend it. So that's a tax collector. So let's collect people instead of money. See what he did there? Instead of collecting money, collect people. Yeah. Clink, Matthew the tax collector, dropped his coins to the ground. He was not a tax collector anymore. Now he was a disciple. Now he would follow Jesus. All right, followers of Jesus. Well, that's a lot of names in there, isn't it? There's more. Jesus met seven others that day, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, and other James. There's more than one James in there. Thaddeus and another Simon and Judas. Follow me, Jesus said to each of them. Crash, boing, boom. They all stopped and dropped what they were doing. Now they were disciples. Now they would follow Jesus. Jesus and his 12 friends, the disciples, shared the workload with many other followers, including Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Susanna. No matter where Jesus went, he call, um, where, where he went, Jesus called for men and women, boys and girls, to drop what they were doing and follow him. Even the sheep. Bah. Yeah, look at all of them. That's a lot of people following Jesus. Young people, old people. People with lots of hair, people with no hair, people covering their hair up. Wow. Well, that's somebody drew all those pictures. They imagined what they looked like. I don't think they really looked like that. Do you think they looked like that? Yeah. They might have. But we've got this page here. You guys can have those. 
And there's some extras if you want to do a do over or something. So you can color all those in. I like to color in the, all the words if it's just something that I like to do while I'm listening to someone talk. Um, and then on the inside, it says, can you draw a picture of the disciples? What do you think they looked like? And then they've got all their names in there. And so you can try and, you know, make up some, some pictures as to what they might have looked like. All right. <clears throat> well, should we have a prayer? You guys have any, any prayer requests? Okay. I'll come up with something. Gracious God, we give thanks for these teachings, and we ask uh, safe travels on this family as they, they head out, and we give thanks for Jesus, who we can follow so that we may know how to live good lives. In your name we pray, amen. And so I've got some markers there in that front pew, and you guys are welcome to use some of those. Just put them back here when you're done. Those are our sanctuary.